Hey, I'm Paul Marsh, Food Safety Master Student, and I'm doing food law and regulatory affairs. Today, I'd like to share with you my experience on several courses. My name is Tessa Kanuma, and I started the food law program in September 2017. And currently, I'm studying, uh, I'm doing a second master at Wageningen University in food fermentation. And later, I hope to combine uh, the insights that I got from food fermentation with food law. My name is uh, Laura and I started uh, a master program food law, food safety law and regulatory affairs in 2018. After finishing my bachelor in nutrition and dietetics, I started working in regulatory affairs. So when I started the master program, I already had some uh, background in food law. The baseline course, food law, you will admire the structure and the content of this course. The practicals would challenge you to go deeper in legal aspects. And what I really appreciated about the specialization in uh, food law and regulation is that it gave me uh, a bird eye perspective on all relevant legal aspects in the food system. So at different levels, national, European, international, and different topics. So it's not only about uh, food safety regulation, but also about intellectual property rights, and nutrition health claims, and human rights, geographical indications. Yeah, a lot of different topics. And I think applying all these different topics on one, uh, you know, with one focus, food law is something I really, really like. What I think is a huge advantage is that you learn the backgrounds or the reasoning behind the regulations. This makes interpretation much easier. Uh, what's really special about specialization is the way the teachers interact with the students. Most of the classes are very small, so the teachers know you by name. The teachers are very involved and open to suggestions. And if your educational background is in not like mine, the program will equip you with necessary competences in food science. I'm sure the food hazards course and in particular, the toxicology part would be very challenging for you. But at the same time, it will be essential to understand the science behind certain regulatory provisions. The way the program is designed, first having courses in, in the first year with all these different topics, and then in the second year, you can yeah, dive more in depth into a topic of your interest with the thesis and the internship that really uh, worked well for me. So yeah, I think if you're interested in having uh, a career in food and especially to see what rules apply to, to our food system and how to apply them and also maybe how to improve uh, this regulation, then I think the, the program at Wageningen University is really something for you. Make the right choice and join food law and regulatory affairs at Wageningen University and research.